Hello and thank you for joining us for this week's track guide for Daily Race C in association with Kirith Esports. I'm JB Racing and I'm going to take you around this lap of Red Bull Ring in the Group 3 cars. We are jumping back in the WRX unfortunately. It's definitely the fastest car and seems to be the best for both the qualifying and the race. No real strategy, uh, just hard racing tyres and no stopping for fuel so uh, it is a no stop race but yeah everybody loves red bull ring if it wasn't for the penalties which are rather frustrating i will try and point out where to try and not get penalties because there are a couple of really tricky corners on here but managed to get a good lap time 28.140 kicking myself a little bit because if i hadn't have messed up the last corner uh, then it would have been a top 10 time but still managed to get a really good lap in here for you and we're going to point out some key gearing to use to get a good launch out of important corners so uh, please do drop a like and subscribe if you enjoy the guide. Let's get into the lap and break it down and then the lap will play out at full speed afterwards as always. Let's see how it goes. Here we go then with the lap and one key thing I noticed with all the top times is they're really maximising the track width. So you're going to see me coming out here to the left hand side, braking on the 100 metre board, down into third gear and then trail braking, clip this yellow bit of kerbin and you want to short shift to fourth and get on the power. Uh, you might need a little wiggle of the wheel or the thumbstick just to keep the car straight there, but definitely short shift into fourth is going to give you a much more stable launch out of T1. Something else I notice is that they are keeping it in fifth gear on the top time, so sticking with fifth, once again looking out for the 100 metre board, braking, and really important to come out onto the left here on the kerb to give yourself a good entry in. I'm waiting until very late to shift down into first, and then you see quite soon I short shift to third gear. It seems a little bit excessive to shift into third gear from such a slow speed, but if you just look at the delta there and the launch that I get out of that corner when you get it right, third gear is absolutely the one uh, for getting out of that corner as quickly as possible. Next corner, once again, we are looking out for the 100 board, so break in right on the line, come out to the left-hand side and trail break down into second gear. I like to just touch the inside of this kerb and then I shift to third and feed the power in. The last 10% of power, depending on what angle you come around that corner at, you might need to be a bit more patient with feeding that last bit of throttle in, so just watch out for that. And next, coming into a really tricky section, we're looking out for the 50 metre board. Brake in on the 50, but get off the brake quite quickly, down into third gear, and then a little bit of second gear just to help rotate the car and get it over onto this kerb. I short shift to fourth here again, so this is another one where you're double shifting up, and then you can get on the power really confident and use all this kerbing on here as runoff little dab of brake and down into third make sure your left tires don't go across that white line that we just left and as soon as you get onto the curb in here you can short shift to fourth gear and get on the power make sure your left wheels don't go over the red and white curb in on that curb on the exit or that will again be a penalty and now coming into the final two corners again we're going to come out wide looking at the marshals box on the left hand side so just on the marshals box there down into fourth and then third gear once you get onto the curbing, short shift to fourth gear and get on the power. And then we're looking out for the yellow bump markers there on the left hand side. Breaking on those into third and then short shift to fourth gear. And there I just um, don't get on the power early enough. I sort of wait too long and I lose about one and a half tenths. which is a little bit frustrating but we still managed to get a 128.1. So pretty good lap time in the grand scheme of things. So I hope that helps out. Please do uh, like, subscribe and come over to JBay Racing to check out some of the other content if you enjoy the video. And good luck with your qualifying. Thanks very much.